are three things I hate in life. Elrond's epiphany, green white enchantments, and sitting down to a steaming bowl of popcorn and having the fucking kernels get stuck in your teeth. I'm happy to announce that two of those things are now dead. Take it in, folks. This is peak salt eye. Let me tell you why this deck will grind your opponents into dust. We have an incredible amount of card advantage with the new Dockside Chef, Bankbuster, and the old staple, Deadly Dispute. We dunk on artifacts and enchantments with Outland Liberator. We say not today, Mono White! Meat Hook is here. Oh, you're running control. No problem. Have fun with our full set of Trespassers. And as if that isn't enough, when you start to see a glimmer of hope, when you finally thought that the unending tide is over, we'll recur all of it with Tamiyo and Soul Transfer. Let's talk synergies here before we head into the games. Dockside Chef and Meat Hook are enchantments. Bankbuster, Isika's Chariot, and Treasure Tokens are artifacts. This means getting maximum value from your Soul Transfer is incredibly easy. To top it off, Black sorely needed an exile effect. You almost felt compelled to run white just so you can take advantage of Vanishing Burst. The fact that you can now easily switch on recurring a threat and exiling something at the same time is just absolutely fantastic. And seriously, you're not sacrificing anything by running this card. You're not sacrificing shit to make it work. All of the cards in this deck are beaters in their own right. Here's another tasty synergy. When Tamiyo recurs something from your graveyard, she recurs it as a token. What loves tokens? This bad bitch right here. With the Seekus Chariot on the field, you can now copy whatever you brought back from your graveyard. You want two Trespassers? Have two Trespassers. You want two Liberators? Have two Liberators. The world is yours, my friends. This deck's an absolute blast to play and the best situated to tackle the meta if at your play level you see a lot of enchantment decks. It has game against pretty well everything I've seen thus far. If you like these more in-depth explanations of my brews, or if you prefer the more brief overview of my prior videos, let me know down in the comments, as I'm always trying to improve. As always, my Twitter and Discord links are in the description. If you like what I'm putting out, consider subscribing, and let's jam it! Well... It's a good hand, but man, this... Tapland sucks, huh? Uh... Could be dead by tap land here, but it's possible we're not. Oh yeah. Saved. <clears throat> so I'm guessing green white oh, not green white life game. I think this means that we don't play the Liberator. That we play the Bankbuster. Um, nah, there'll be more important shit to block, I'm sure. Now we play the Liberator and we hold up his sacrifice. If he swings with the Naturalist... We would very much like to get rid of that. Becomes a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> That's good. So we can block here. Kill that. Still leaves us needing a... Uh, what do you call it? Meat hook? Still definitely need a meat hook. <clears throat> Another wedding announcement's not very good for us. Can 
containment breach is pretty damn good. So. I would like to play Trespasser, but I would also like to keep up Outland Liberator. So maybe this is a draw step. Okay. We're taking out the Jukai. I think we're taking out the wedding announcement. Stop him from drawing cards. And then I think we're drawing. And looking for a meat hook. No meat hook. 12 life. Not great. Tamiyo, unfortunately, doesn't help us too much, does she? Got nothing to gain any life in there. We're getting an eye twitch here. Just to stabilize a bit. Uh oh. That's not good. Cameo gets us back. Yeah, let, let's do this. Okay. Pay two. Get the Liberator back. Good. Good and nice. Now he'll be forced to swing everything at Tamiyo. So we can probably pick off the naturalist. Still looking for that sweet, sweet meat hook. Soul transfer is pretty good, though. Not gonna lie. Another soul transfer. Um, are we going to deadly dispute here? I, I think so. There's our meat hook. So we can go X equals two. 
Then we can also exile the Katilda from the grave. Get some of that sweet life. Three soul transfers is pretty awesome. So we can get uh, Outland Liberator back as soon as he plays something for us to exile. We could also just do it now. We have three. We also have uh, the ability to get another Tamio. Um, Spirited Companion, sure. Stabilized quite nicely, I would say. Another wedding announcement. In a Ranger class. Which of these do we hate more? I think we hate the wedding announcement more. Another Katilda, that's fine. Katilda will get herself exiled. And we'll hold up the uh, Liberator this time. Just in case he has another Hollowed Haunting or something like that. Well, this is what I built the deck for, so I guess... Uh, going pretty well. Sure, I'll crew here. Uh, GG's. <laughs> Selesny enchantments, if they're taking you down, just run this deck, man. Okay. Opponent goes first. We got an eye twitch and a deadly dispute. Looks like landfall aggro. Okay. Well. Definitely blocking next turn, I'll tell you that much. Invigorating Hot Spring. I don't know what this is. Invigorating Hot Spring enters the battlefield with 411 counters on it. Modified creatures you control have haste. Okay. Sure. Walk this. We got to find some answers here. 
Please, no five lands. We can get a containment breach. We can get a pest summoning for blockers. Okay, one land. It's not too bad, I guess. Um... Do we really want a soul transfer on this guy? Not really. Let's play this. We have blockers and we have another draw next turn if we want it. We don't have the mana to do it. I think we're holding on to the soul transfer because I really don't know what he has. If he has trample, the uh, pest summoning was obviously a, a bad take, but uh, I have no fucking clue what he has, to be honest. So he had no lands. It's pretty good for us. Seekers isn't bad. Okay, so... Sunstreak Phoenix. So he's going to be a 5-2 in the air. Ouch. That is painful. That is painful. Okay. Okay. Don't have any blues yet. Um, how do we get out of this mess? Suppose we could just take out the flyer. That might be the correct thing to do. We can chomp and get a card. Three cards left in hand for opponent. Probably no lands, I would assume. That's a big problem. So it's coming down to we need a meat hook again, and uh, I don't think we find it. Okay. Still no meat hook. Can play one of these and soul transfer this turn and hold up a another draw. Oh, I can do both. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I forgot he's an enchantment. That's why I have three of them in the deck. Don't know why I forgot. Um, I mean, hopefully he doesn't have more gold spans in his hand, but he's got two cards that he's been holding all game. So he probably does.
Uvenwald Oddity. So he's going to be a five. Deciding he doesn't want to swing here. We need to dig. We need to find this uh, this elusive meat hook. Definitely don't need this, although it's okay. We can swing here, make another blocker, and put down another Asikas. We still leave one mana open to take out the Ranger class. Um, what would we rather get rid of here? I think we just take out the Wolf. Get some more blockers down. And pray for no gold spam. Brush fire elemental. Is he going to use the invigorating hot spring on it? I mean, I don't think he has another land, right? Okay, so he wants to make this a 6-6. Six, six? Let's make it a 5-5. Five, five. Ooh, he was holding that, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, that's really bad. Exceptionally bad. Um Holy Jesus. Okay, we're just dead, right? By the looks of it. We once again did not draw a meat hook at any point in our games. It's good. Um, just cannot seem to draw things. Take out this brush fire elemental. Mm, soul transfer is okay. We have what we need to block what's on the board. If he draws into a gold span, we're dead. Emergent sequence. There's our meat hook a little too late, <laughs> as is usually the case. If we meat hook here, we're saying, oh, you do not have um, any hasters. So I don't think meat hooking is actually on the menu at the moment. We can, however, remove the Uvenwald Oddity. And we can swing with the Trespasser to start gaining some life back.
There might be a world where we play this x equals zero just to gain some life. Free life. Can we do it? <laughs> oh no. Goro Goro. Still just don't think we can give up our board. <clears throat> and he can create five fives every turn now. Yikes. Okay. It's a big boy yikes. So. Do we have to meet Hook now? Are we forced to? Let's see here. I don't think we're quite forced to, but Goro Goro can also give haste to everything. What if we swing here? Is that fucking crazy? I guess I'm a bit of a crazy guy. We swing and we pray for no gold span. How much do we need? Okay, it's it's all of our mana. I just won with that stupid play. I didn't even realize. Okay. All right. GG's fuckhead. <laughs> uh. Sure. We takes. Would like a um, uh, deadly dispute, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's get our green out. <clears throat> Look, it's mono green. Color me shocked. <laughs> So he can play a Seek as next turn. <clears throat> yeah. We can actually get rid of the tokens. We can get rid of the tokens or we can play our own Asikas. If you play your own Asikas, you're playing on the back foot, though. Um, I think I'm doing this. And I'm holding this up because now I have an artifact and an enchantment. Whatever I have to remove next turn, I will get my Graveyard Trespasser back. So I can block any incoming damage that's coming in. Another Asikas. Okay. Well, fair enough. <clears throat> and now I don't really have anything to remove, unfortunately. Yeah, it's only a creature planeswalker. I can't remove a vehicle with it. So I think we wait here, play our own Asikas. It 
seems reasonable. Old Growth Troll is a good target. So if he swings with his Asikas, we can block with the Graveyard Trespasser in one token. In this way, he can't snakeskin veil the Asikas to save it either. We would like if he uses the snakeskin veil and kills both of these because then we are free to use the soul transfer on the old growth troll. Chooses not to kill the Trespasser. Is he somehow aware that we have Soul Transfer? It's not a very popular card. Seems odd. Okay, he didn't have a snakeskin veil to begin with. That's good. Hmm. Got back a shambly ghast. I think it's safe to play this. We have another... Well, Asikas is an artifact, and we also have a bankbuster. <laughs> Once we stabilize and get a chance to use the bankbuster, we definitely will. We've gotten rid of two Asikas and an old growth troll. Doing fairly well, but mono green is constant gas, so. Yep, we'll block there. Okay. Bank Buster can come down. I think that's fine. I mean, we could also start swinging with the Asikas by playing another one. Keep this guy. Play out our bank buster while we have the opportunity. Bank buster can be crewed next turn as well. And fuck you, mono green. Yeah! Yeah! Expensive hand. Better hand. Fortunately, we have to ship that, I think. <clears throat> Patchwork Automaton. Would have been nice to have Shambling Gas there, eh? Huh. See, I want to Deadly Dispute this turn. But I also want the Shambling Gas on the field. Choices, choices. I guess we're waiting. I can tell this is going to be a meat hook game. So 
So I think drawing it earlier versus later is going to be better for us. Why didn't you reconfigure? Pest summoning might be good here. Sure. Um, Ward 2. That sucks. <clears throat> I mean, of course we could just infinitely tap this down, but he can reconfigure for one mana and then charge into our Tamiyo. Tamiyo will be at 4, though. Tamiyo will be at 4. We'll also be giving up our treasure. <clears throat> So maybe we don't do that. Need our treasure for a big meat hook turn later, I would assume. Face with the play with fire, okay. This deck has a lot of draw, I think, if it's the deck I'm thinking of or if he built it the way I'm thinking. Hopefully we can just mess him up with jump blockers for a while. Um. I know I just said I wanted to save the treasure, and I do, but... Kinda also want my eye twitchy back. Tap up to one target artifact. Does this have to be tapped? No. I can't target this because of ward. I can stop it from moving around. Such an imperfect queen. Can I? No, I can't really. That was stupid. I'm an idiot. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I could tap down the Patchwork Automaton, and I can't because of Ward. So that was very not smart. Playing Tamio there was not smart. Tamio will be taking two here. Okay. We can finally get rid of this thing. That's our whole turn and we lose Tamio though. Hmm. Interesting. Does he have some way to stop this? Okay, we don't have to pay the ward now. That's pretty damn badass, actually. And the Tamiyo is totally useless. So I'm actually super stoked on that exchange. Can also uh, chump the Ronin. See what he gets here. Another synthesizer. Hmm. 
He can play the land. That's pretty good for him, actually. He can reconfigure to the samurai. Okay. Let's get the bank buster rolling. He'll come down and be a 3-3 if he attaches. But we can block with the uh, crude bank buster. <clears throat> mm, Royal Eruption's pretty good. He can pitch something to kill the trespasser. What does he pitch? Iron Apprentice. Okay. Do this to block the damage this turn. Iron Apprentice. One one counter on it when he dies. You put the counters elsewhere. Okay. Ronin's getting discarded. Not sure he can attack here. So he must have a way to kill the Asikas here. He does. Which is okay. I think us having draw and him not having draw at the moment is pretty good. Let's wait. Let's wait and see what he plays. He plays the concede button. I would too. GG's. We go first. Unfortunately, we're taking three here. No, Mono Green. Leave us alone. Holding up Deadly Dispute? Playing it now? What else could we take out that has one health? Trespasser's nice. Asikas before they drop their Asikas is very nice. Ah, Gruel. Swing first, ask questions later. Uh, I did not mean to pass turn there. Okay. We've given opponent a handicap. Uh, we have given him a one turn leeway because we went first. Oops. Opponent, what the fuck do you have in your hand? I 
I guess gold span dragon. That's what I'm gonna guess. I'm sticking to it. You have three gold span dragons. And three lands. Hold up our deadly dispute, though I don't know what's going on. Gold span dragon! Dude, okay. Game's on. Just have to beat three gold span dragons and we're, we're good. Um, swing first. We're okay if he wants to block one of the cats. We'll deadly dispute it. We're not too bad about that either. It's a really weird deck, wolves and dragons, so I'm... I'm going to play around burn down the house. I know, I know, it's fucking crazy, but opponent kept a hand with like 15 gold spans or something. No burn down the house. Can't be right all the time. 